The physical element model of a pile foundation is viewable by clicking the Physical Element View tab. This shows the centerline model of the foundation with members for pedestals and piles and panels for the pad. Also shown is the joint that represents the connection to the superstructure. Click on the joint to view properties in the Selection Tool window. Changing the joint location will move the entire foundation, similar to how an object view, a right-click menu allows you to move the foundation. Finite Element View shows the finite element analysis model of joints, members, shells, and rigid links. Orange joints are free in all six degrees of freedom. Pink joints have some kind of support, such as a spring. The finite element model is controlled in a large part by the soil profile associated with the foundation. One-layer soil profiles use springs at the pile head to represent piles. The finite element model does not contain pile members. Multi-layer soil profiles use pile members with soil springs to represent the piles. For more information, please watch the soil and soil profile videos. The mesh density of the foundation is controlled with element size settings found in Design Input Window, Finite Elements. Adjust the pad element size to control the number of shells in the pad. Pile element size can be set through a member count, member spacing, or by a number of springs per layer. For preliminary design, you may wish to speed up the analysis at the expense of accuracy. Choose a large element size to reduce the number of shells and reduce the number of pile members. Another way to speed up analysis is to reduce the number of load increments. However, this may lead to an unstable model when the loading is large. For the final code check, increase the element size, pile member count, and load increments to get accurate results.